Hello, welcome to lesson number three of my tutorials on the Deseret Alphabet. This is an I. I'm going to study some vowels. We're going to study some vowels. And a few consonants, just because they're simple and they're the ones you'll use the most. Well, not really, but these ones are simple, these ones you'll use a lot. This is the I. You can just write it. One word, it's got its photonic property, and it says I. In a word, it says I. So, its photonic property does not change its sound. This is an it. It looks like a T, but that's a T. So, there's a difference. This is an I, this is a T. You usually learn the I, I learned the I sound by realizing that this is not a T, it's an I, or a short I. This is an E, and an F, or a long E and a short E. This is an A. It looks like a cursive E, but it's an A. It's weird, that's what it is. And I see it and I think A. This is an F. I see it, I think F. It's a check mark. Real simple shape, fast to write. This is also a short sound, I think. It's probably the only letter that I have not yet really become absolutely 100% sure of, but I'm pretty sure of it. I'm like 90% sure of it. So do your own research here. Um, this, but just call this a short U. And I decided there's this is like makes a long U, and this is an U, and this, well, I could draw them too with that. And there's the Y sound, which, by the way, actually only looks like that. So I can draw right. So, this is a B. If you want to write one B, like one honey B, then you do this. Because of this photonic value, that works. However, if you want to make it plural and write B's, you have to add an E and an S. We will add the S to our list of constants this morning, just because it's so simple. I've already gone over it. This is a D. It's just a backwards capital D. One thing to notice when you're writing in Deseret is that a capital of any letter and a lowercase of any letter look exactly the same except for size. They did not bother to complicate it by putting multiple different kinds of letters in the alphabet. You don't have to learn 80 letters, you only have to learn 40. So. This is an L. It looks just like an English L. This is a T. It looks close enough to an English T. You've probably even seen a T written like that. If you haven't, well, good for you. This is an S. And it's really tempting to write an S like that, isn't it? So you can just sit there all day and do this. Okay, I have to say And if you don't succeed, try, try again. Fun, huh? That is all I have in lesson number three. I hope you enjoyed. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.